sophisticated luxury. This is not just a house. This is not just a watch. And come on, this is not just a car. So what makes a product stand out? Excellence, craftsmanship, and technology. But there's more. It's about creating this unique and exclusive retreat for relaxation and inspiration for those customers who are in search of something truly extraordinary, something no other brand can offer, something like this, the new Mercedes Maybach S-Class. I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anusha Dandekar, and I am your host for today. And on behalf of Mercedes-Benz India, I extend a warm welcome to all of you. Today, we are here for the first launch of 2022, and does it feel amazing, for Mercedes-Benz India. Ladies and gentlemen, the car that we are about to see here is exquisite, exclusive, absolutely one of a kind. It is a powerhouse of both luxury and technology. And before we unveil it to the world, we have a special panel here today. To start the proceedings, I invite Mr. Martin Schwenk, Managing Director and CEO, Mercedes-Benz India for a conversation. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good Please morning, take everyone. a seat. Hi, <laughs> Thank you, Anisha. <laughs> Okay, hello Martin, and we are here for the first product launch of Mercedes-Benz India in 2022. This is following some exciting announcements which you had made in January. So how did 2022 start for Mercedes-Benz India? Well, thanks Anusha. <laughs> 2022 began really on an action-packed note for Mercedes-Benz in India. Uh, we started with some uh, key announcements. Uh, many of you had uh, wit witnessed that. Uh, our focus continues to be the direct-to-customer business model, retail of the future. Uh, this is our omni-channel model, which allows complete transparency for our customers on price and inventories. Over the year, we will launch uh, 10 new products, including Maybach, EQ, and AMG sub-brands, the first of which will be today. Our EV portfolio is set to expand with the launch of the EQS. Uh, the car has already set a global benchmark and it will be a made in India car here starting in quarter four. Wow, that is quite an impressive roadmap, Martin. Now, while I understand that we haven't even finished Q1, would you say you are well on course so far? It has definitely <laughs> been a good start. I have checked obviously our sales numbers in January and February and they looking really promising. Uh, and on top of that, of course, we have since January worked on many of the initiatives we have announced. Uh, and top of that, we focus, for example, on uh, technical training. We have ADAM courses, which is a one-year one year degree, which we offer across nine uh, institutes in India. And we have expanded now, starting here uh, in Pune with the MKSSS Women's College to introduce an electric vehicle module uh, on that, which makes those students uh, ready for the transformation in the industry for electric vehicles. It will then be rolled out successively, this program, over the other institutes over the country. Uh, so that's for me a very, very big thing. On the other hand, uh, marketing, uh, very important. We have uh, rolled out our Are You AMG Ready campaign. And uh, this one specifically to target our AMG customers. And this time uh, we launched uh, the campaign only digitally uh, on Instagram. Yeah, Mercedes-Benz India's marketing mix is, is constantly evolving and I clearly see a stronger and stronger trend for digital and social media. Yes, yeah, so I see exciting movements on building the EV ecosystem and aspirational product campaigns. But what about connected cars? Well, I'm glad you bring this up. Uh, we have currently 49,000 uh, connected cars on the roads here in India. Uh, this is the largest number of connected cars among any uh, luxury car manufacturer today. With the Mercedes uh, Me app, uh, the life has been convenient, uh, more convenient for our customers in terms of functionality 
as well as uh, service assignment appointments and bookings. Wow. Well, that is quite a stellar number. And you mentioned convenience for customers. Are there any new initiatives we have on customer service front? Sure. I mean, that is definitely a must to always be uh, there for our customers and uh, consider our customer service as an important part of uh, the ownership experience. Uh, recently, for example, we have extended our fast lane body and paint services uh, at 22 locations. Whilst that sounds very technical, it actually means uh, we promise within three days uh, that you get uh, minor accident uh, repairs and uh, paint jobs done. The insurance process will also be done within these three days, so complete peace of mind and fast and speedy uh, implementation. Wow, okay. Well, service is an important part of the ownership experience, obviously. As a luxury car manufacturer, have you also integrated financial services in the retail of the future? Yeah, retail of the future, uh, we, with this we make efforts across all elements of the customer journey to make it as seamless as possible. And for sure, uh, it includes financial services uh, and customers are able now through our processes to get dedicated and customized offers. Uh, we have now integrated fully digital contracts which makes life faster, easier, more transparent. And I would today also like to talk about another industry first which we have implemented uh, just recently after signature of uh, a finance contract with financial services, uh, the car can be directly delivered to the customer. They, that means there is no, no waiting period till payments are done or banking have processed. It's one seamless uh, process starting with a digital journey, digital signature, and then a very speedy handover process. So I just uh, can see how that picks up, but I'm very positive uh, it will make life of customers much easier. <laughs> Definitely. I would say it is definitely an action-packed start to 2022. From what I hear, your efforts across products, customer ownership and sustainability seem to have met with a good response so far. So congratulations, by the way, on being a judge the most preferred luxury car brand in India by Haran India Wealth Report 2021. A round of applause, everybody. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Anusha. I think that uh, confirms what we see in our sales numbers, quite frankly. Uh, but I would also want to take the opportunity today to thank our loyal customers who have faith in our products. We are really humbled uh, by the recognition from the Haroon Report 2021. Today, Mercedes-Benz is the most desirable brand in India, and our immediate quest is to understand how we can make the best even better. Well, that is indeed the question of the hour, and I'm sure we are about to find the answers to that. I am inviting our guest for today, Anaita Shroff Adajania. She is one of the leading voices within India's fashion community, former founding fashion director of Vogue for 13 years, celebrity stylist, costume designer for multiple films. She also wears multiple hats and is a luxury expert in her very own right. Anaita, come on down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to introduce a product which speaks of ultimate sophistication, luxury. The pillars of luxury are important, such as customization, comfort, elegance, smart technology. But luxury means different things to different individuals in this new day and age. So our panel today will have a conversation from two different vantage points of mobility and fashion. To begin with, Martin, what is the definition of sophisticated luxury to you when it comes to Mercedes-Benz portfolio? Well, I'm already um, concerned that it might fall short after the, uh, <laughs> against the fashionista here, but uh, I can clearly say uh, the, with the Maybach, we define the luxury of the future, at least and for sure in the automobile seg uh, segment. Uh, the double M symbol, emblem uh, signifies the blend of technical innovation and sophisticated luxury. For me, Mercedes Maybach has always stood for this exactly that, for sophisticated luxury. Yes. 
While that is from the automobile perspective, Anita, what does sophisticated luxury mean to you in 2022? I mean, I have to say that I completely agree with everything that you said, but I think luxury is evolving, right? Our needs are evolving. And um, the one thing that I think about when I think of luxury is the luxury of choice. And when you have that, you have to apply your thoughts, you have to apply your emotion to understand that better. So in fashion, that brings us to a sophisticated side of luxury, which is an investment buy. It's something you think about, it's something you want, it's a mindful decision, you're gonna use it again and again, it's just not a, something you buy on a whim and throw away the next day. So you use um, your sophisticated knowledge uh, to invest in luxury, and I think with the, with the car that you're gonna unveil to us, that just brings it all together and makes it very exciting, and uh, yeah. I feel, you know, for years, with my experience in fashion, I've been to so many brand factories and seen the, the detail and the thought that goes into every product. And I know, as we were chatting backstage earlier, that there are some amazing things that are going to be revealed very soon. Ooh, I like the word details. <laughs> Truly, luxury never has a constant meaning. As the world evolves, its interpretation also changes. In that context, Martin, what role does technology play in providing a luxurious experience? Well, in, in our space, uh, for sure, luxury and technology is, is closely linked and it's actually intertwined. Yeah? Uh, as much as we push forward in the luxury space, we should also equate with advancement in technology. We have always to touch new frontiers uh, of technology to deliver a great and almost unexpected expected experience. Uh, take, example, take the example of our car of the future, the Vision EQXX, which we have recently shown uh, to the public. This is an electric vehicle which runs more than a thousand kilometers in a single charge. Not yet available, but it shows what is possible in future. And uh, that is what luxury customers of tomorrow will expect from us. A lot of that spirit at technology translates also in the upcoming uh, EQS. You can, on the screen now, you can see uh, the MBUX hyper screen here. Uh, it is both the mastermind and the nervous system of the EQS. Again, a huge leap uh, in what is possible in connected uh, technology, artificial intelligence. Coming today now, technology and luxury uh, come together to make uh, this car your personal refuge. I, I mean, you mentioned that already to some extent. I will show you how the S-Class Maybach is a really perfect example of that. That is so cool. We are looking forward to that for sure. Anita, this question is for you. Smart and luxurious didn't go hand in hand historically, but now, owing to the meeting of art, and science, they do. How does smart luxury showcase itself to you and how do they influence your choice? Hmm. Well, you know, everything that we do is about creativity. It starts with that. And uh, I know that it's, it's not a lofty idea, it's just what we do. We're creative. Uh, and uh, I think, um, you know, what I'm expressing is that you, you, you get to express very freely what you're thinking. And um, it's, it's also about a deep-rooted passion for craft, especially in our country. You know, we, we put so much importance on handmade, um, you know, things that are passed down from generation to generation. But I feel now's the time for us to find how technology and art can come together. I mean, like we see in the Maybach, right? It's, it's just such a creative influence of, like, like I was saying on my journey here this morning, I came in this car and it was like, okay, I'm like now in an aeroplane. I'm no longer in a car. I feel so luxurious. And their voice commands, I'm like, hey, Mercedes, I like this. I like mood lighting. So I think when, when you bring technology into our world, which I would say, maybe some people think it's slightly superficial, right? But we like to look good and feel good. And this car is so doing it for us. Yeah, I think that's super important. Well, that is a lovely perspective. Martin, my next question is to you. I see a lot of people in my circle increasingly buying luxury cars and especially a Mercedes Benz. Um, this clearly reflects the popularity of the segment. Within that pie, how would you say this is uh, in demand for high-end products? I'm not sure what I'm about to tell you 
may surprise you, but we really have an overwhelming demand for our high-end vehicles. Uh, our company has sold more than 2,000 of these uh, really top-end vehicles uh, in uh, last year, 2021. Uh, for example, uh, if we look here at our high-end off-roader, the G-Wagon, uh, now it has a waiting list uh, until early next year. Uh, the GLS uh, boasts a, a huge space and comfort. It's very, very popular, uh, and it's, it's among, amongst the most popular of our cars and SUVs. And as you can see, uh, unfortunately, we, that also drives that we have a waiting period here uh, on the GLS. The GLS Maybach, uh, the icon of luxury in the SUV segment here in India, as you can see, we have terrific demand uh, till 2023, sold out, unfortunately. And I want to take a moment to humbly express my gratitude to our customers. To them I say thank you for displaying strong loyalty to Mercedes-Benz in spite of these waiting periods. We will do everything we can do uh, to accelerate uh, your delivery. Wow. Can I just yes, say something? Course. I hope like, now that I know you, there's going to be some benefit to jumping Well, I would queue. say we have transparent prices no. and transparent, oh. transparent prices. Transparent prices are fine, but <laughs> a little, little preference. Come on, Martin. I tried this yesterday. And oh, I dear. <laughs> okay. Well, we're queuing up. <laughs> well, I am sure your customers will not mind the long wait once they manage to lay their hands on these models. Trust me, they're amazing. So, Anita, Martin, just strongly endorse the two growing affinity for luxury in India. Considering the Mercedes acts as a home on wheels, literally, for you, could you share with us a memorable experience you have with the car? You know, before I share a memor memorable experience, I want to let people know that the car doesn't just act like my home, it is my home. <laughs> you know, as, 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 as stylists working in fashion, I'm going to let you in on some secrets. There are always at least six to seven pairs of shoes in my car. There are at least two suitcases of clothes. Like, you know, when we, people talk about, oh, day to night dressing, it's real. We actually do that. The car is also my changing room half the time. Yes. Yeah, my driver's seen a few things. But anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, the, the joy and, like I was saying earlier, the emotional connect that one has with a car is difficult to explain. Like, people think that, you know, because we work in fashion, we don't think about that. But, Martin, you have no idea the joy you guys give us of giving us space, especially us to have to stretch out a bit, you know, all of that. And I think um, if I were to talk about one incident, uh, I remember I was to pick up a, like a lifetime achievement award. And so you get dressed and you know, you're all serious and you're wondering like, am I gonna remember my, my speech? You get into the car and you sit down and, and there's like sober music playing. You reach the venue, and the, at that point, the car is just giving you the right temperature, the warmth, and maybe that gentle massage, one of the six options that you have. And uh, you go there, you get the award, you say whatever, you don't even remember it. And then you go to the after party, and you come back, and now the car is like a party place. It's like <laughs> loud music, the AC is turned up because everyone's been sweaty. So yeah, the car just gives us so much, right? I mean, whether it's, it's that, or even at an emotional level, like bringing my kids home from the hospital in my Mercedes. I mean, that's just what it's done for me. It's been there everywhere. You're so right, Anita. It really is, you know, a, a perfect setting for each mood that we have and each event or, you know, work commitment that we have, even a long day in the office, you know, coming into your car is everything. So that's that first kind of relaxation place, that safety net. Well, that is some positive reinforcement for a customer right here, Martin. What do you think? Yeah, yes? of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and Naita, my final question to you, how do you stay ahead of the curve when it comes to all the developments in the world of luxury? What is a trend that has caught your attention and imagination? I would say, for me, it's always been about individuality, mm -hmm. about, you know, being your best you. And I think um, if you can express who you are, like self-expression, you know, a culmination of what you believe in, who you stand for, how you want to look, um, that is what gives you power. Mm -hmm. And I think that gives you strength to be who you are. And so much of luxury is, is sensorial, right? It's about what we experience in a particular place, test driving a car, trying a new restaurant. And I think um, the more that we're in touch with that, uh, the more it applies to who we are. I, I think I lost track of your question. I've like meandered somewhere into La La Land. 
Uh, but I, what I, 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 I give you an example. You know, I went to this uh, uh, amazing photo exhibition in Paris recently, and I didn't know what it was about. I entered, I saw the photographs, they were beautiful, and I just felt really special. And when I left, I learned that it was the launch of a fragrance. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You know, it's not about the straight and narrow, and I think that's what, you know, we get from this car, whether it's... Uh, making the, the, the situation so comfortable for us, so inviting for us, that like, the, the seat is the plushest seat you're gonna get. The, foot the room is just enough. The booth is large enough for all my shopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and, and I just think um, it all comes down to making life better for us. Yeah. Uh, and which is why it brings me back to sophisticated luxury. Luxury is there, but when it's sophisticated and it's thoughtful and it's creative, mindful, yeah. then it's the whole package. I love that. Well, that is definitely the best and interesting perspective, Anita. I think Martin would agree. As the car we are about to launch here today bespeaks customization and exclusivity. Thank you, Anita, for your time and perspective Thank on the luxury much. segment. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, Martin. Coming to the big, exciting announcement for today, can you tell us more about the history of Maybach? Sure. Uh, Maybach is an epitome of in innovation and evolving, sophisticated luxury. Over the years, the journey of Maybach is one of aspiration. Uh, to present the best of the best, that was the ambition voiced by Karl Maybach and his father, Wilhelm Maybach, when they launched the Maybach W3. One, over 100 years ago. Uh, this philosophy re remains at the core of the brand till date. Over the decades, royalties, world leaders, movie stars, and sports champions have traveled in Mercedes Maybach vehicles. I can't believe that it's more than a century. That's crazy. Incredible. Those words more than define, and I can vouch for that as I have seen this car and I was sitting in it for a while <laughs> yesterday. Moreover, I believe Maybach is also known as a powerhouse of technology. That is absolutely true. Maybach is a powerhouse of technology. Uh, Santosh will elaborate a little bit deeper onto the tech fe features in a short while, but uh, let me tell you. Uh, my favorite of uh, my favorite one of those, yeah, and I would call it the Royal Wave. And the Royal Wave goes like this, yeah. I'm not sure where I should disclose what it does, but it actually closes uh, the rear doors when you sit there. And I think, anyways, you feel like a royalty when you sit there. Uh, so it's it's a it's a phenomenal a phenomenal uh, gesture. Uh, you maybe have to try once or twice, but w as soon as you feel royal enough, it does it automatically, magically by itself. Well, yeah, I did it yesterday, and I can tell you it feels really royal. I just needed my crown, and it would have been perfect. <laughs> well, it looks like magic. Maybe um, you should all try it later. My buck is truly one of a kind. It really, really is. Um, now, which brings me to the question, we all know that the S-Class is the pinnacle of luxury, innovation, and technology. But where does one place a Maybach? Yeah, you're right, uh, Anusha. The S-Class is the most luxurious offering uh, we have. And I personally would put it on a, uh, an S-Class on a scale from 1 to 10. I would put it at a 10 already. So having said that, um, I have to say the Maybach will then have to be an 11 or, or 12, it clearly goes uh, beyond and above uh, what uh, any luxury car in the market offers. I think the S-Class is all you, all you need, but if you want more, the Maybach is your car. Definitely. So clearly the Mercedes Maybach S-Class is your superlative offering in this story for aspiration, right? Yes, but the story is more than that. I am proud and happy to present today that we will have two options, uh, the imported car and the locally produced Mercedes Maybach S-Class. Yes, we will produce locally the Maybach S580. Wow. 
Ah, that's so exciting. Okay, well, I feel extremely proud to hear that this exquisite car will be produced right here in Jaken. I am sure all our guests are now gearing up to see the car we have been talking about for so long. Before we present the cars to you, let's have a look at an AV. Starting the next 100 years. I invite Mr. Santosh Iyer, VP Sales and Marketing, Mercedes-Benz, to join Martin and showcase the Mercedes Maybach S-Class to us. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the imported Mercedes Maybach S-Class 680. you both to launch another marvel on this side. <laughs> Presenting to you the locally produced Mercedes Maybach S-Class 580. Martin and Santosh. I now invite Santosh Ayer to take us through the product features of the Mercedes Maybach S-Class. Well, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot uh, for this. And uh, I think it's a very special moment for also for me personally, the first launch of the year. Uh, my bug and that also addressed all the media friends physically this has been uh, pending for quite some time we have been doing the digital launches thanks to everyone for joining here also thanks to all the viewers there out there who are also viewing this launch digitally so before I start to explain I think a lot has been said about this car uh, there's a lot of expectation and I will try to do my best to explain the best car in the world as such uh, but before we do that I also thought that it's important that we understand who is an S-Class customer and here, uh, when you look at the statistics, clearly an S-Class customer's age, an average age of an S-Class customer is 38 years old. And yes, that's something uh, that many don't realize that these are young customers who are buying the S-Class even today. And these customers, they are young leaders, uh, they are quite demanding, 
Many of them have startups, unicorns. Uh, one thing which binds them all is they have this technoid mindset. They are also early adopters uh, to any technology which comes in. Uh, they want to enjoy life. And also when we go to them, when we discuss with them, we also realize that they, they use the car very differently. So during the day, they use this car, they have a chauffeur maybe because of all the challenges, they are very engrossed in work for commute. And at that same time, during evenings, they have to go for dinners, they prefer to drive themselves, or mostly on weekends. Mostly on weekends, they, they, they want to drive the car, they want to enjoy this uh, machine, and therefore we need to configure a car, we need to have a car which meets both these aspects, and also have a very different target group of S-Class. At the same point of time, we also have customers who are luxury dwellers. They are also large CEOs of large companies. They have been repeatedly buying S-Classes. So we have to take care of both the ta customer target groups. Now let me start. The car actually speaks for itself. Uh, the, the moment you look at the car, what comes to your mind, uh, what you see is a very prominent grill, or the Maybach grill, which clearly from a distance you can make out that it's a Maybach. To add to this, we also have a chrome fin right there on the bonnet. Uh, these are two elements which clearly is signature elements from the distance from the front to recognize a Maybach on road. As we move on, uh, also when you see these digital lights, these were premiered in the new S-Class which we introduced last year. They have 1.3 million micro mirrors for refraction. It also welcomes the, uh, the owner of the car, also says uh, by, uh, you know, all the features of the digital lights are ingrained and more importantly, it's quite safe. It gives you the best projection, the, one of the best technologically advanced headlamps that we have in the world. So with these two on the front, if you move towards now here, uh, I think the, the what's behind the hood is also equally important. So this car is powered by a V8 engine. It has close to 700 Newton meters of torque, goes 0 to 100 in 4.8 seconds. So it's quite a sprint as such. It's uh, of course, formatic 9G Tronic uh, as standard. So that's about what's inside uh, from, uh, from a driving perspective. But when you also coming back to the exterior styling elements, one thing again which is distinctive are the alloys. They are 19 inch Maybach light alloys in high sheen finish that you see here. So again, uh, all this being done to keep it as distinct for anybody on the road to see and spot a Maybach. When you look at this car, this is long. It's not a surprise, it's, a, it's, it's the longest limousine as such, 5.7 meters uh, that comes in. Uh, Gordon Wagner, who's the head of design, says this is embodies sensual purity in the tourist form. So it's all clean, including what you see here right now, the door handles, etc. they are all there. Flush door handles, now you can see them popping out. Uh, you know, it's that's the ease you can then operate, open the car, enter, and, you, uh, and actually get into the world of luxury, immerse there. Also, as we move behind here, you can see the Maybach uh, logo. Again, from the, uh, from the side to anybody seeing the car, distinctiveness is key to uh, differentiate this car. This logo, definitely, there's a lot of pride to own this car and also flaunt it as such. And therefore, it's there on the C uh, pillar uh, for the car. As you come to the rear, I think everything is crafted to the minutest detail. It has to complement. It has a 3D crystal clear pins. Uh, so again, from the rear, anybody seeing this, of course, there is a Maybach clearly lettering on the rear uh, to identify that, yes, it's the S-Class Maybach on the road. But yes, we all know, I think it has been said, home, uh, a home on wheels. We have had many connotations to this car. All I can say is, let's get to the best, one of the best places I would say in this car is the rear seat, the first class cabin of the S-Class, my above. So, so as you see here, I am fully resting here in this luxurious cabin of the S-Class Maybach. It also has the gesture control and this is what Martin mentioned. This is what he loves as such and we all love it actually. So, you know, it, it is so intuitive. Uh, what is also does is the seatbelt pops up. So it's a very inviting gesture that uh, and reminds you to wear the seatbelt the moment you get into this car. All this happens with, uh, with a combination of three laser high definition cameras that they are right on the top. They not only close the doors or prompt you for the seat belt, but they also see how an occupant wants to, uh, wants to be uh, taken care in the car intuitively. For example, the headrest is already adjusted to my height. So it's, it's already calculating the height of the passengers, adjusting the headrest. And that's something, again, quite personal. The other small example I can give you is something has fallen on the, load on the floor of the car. I want to pick it up. The lights come up automatically. So 
every moment this car is observing the occupants it's trying to help intuitively without even pressing a button or without even trying to see how how we can actually uh, what feature you need to use so i think that uh, speaks a lot about what we have tried to take care of the customer convenience when it comes to in this top end luxury segment of course what also what you cannot miss is the maybach exclusive napa leather uh, i think uh, one has to feel this uh, i can't explain much but yes this all comes whatever i am sharing now is a standard in the s class maybach in india what we are also uh, done is the seats uh, when we say it's a first class cabin it needs the reclining it needs to ensure that we are able to recline this and uh, there is a chauffeur package in this car so it ensures that the seats go right in the front also the seats where i am seated right now there is a possibility to recline it to 40 3.5 degrees so basically you are completely relaxed in this car it has a calf massage it has a support function for there so that uh, you know you can get a good massage the seats are climatized seats so also uh, irrespective of the weather outside uh, you can get the best of comfort inside this car okay so that's a bit about uh, you know the seats and the features and the functionalities of this car but when you also look at the screens you know there are multiple screens in this car and uh, the, the immediate attention also goes to the tablet which is there on my right here this is the mbux uh, rear uh, tablet you can actually use this uh, tablet to also uh, customize you can actually uh, uh, do the comfort packages uh, you you can uh, get a massage so you can use the tablet remove it and use it as per your convenience also to operate the rscs package uh, which is the rear seat entertainment that we see here on this car so when i speak about rear seat entertainment i think uh, we all know in today's time every city in india has the traffic conditions what you can enjoy is a nice ott platform any ott platform of your choice watch the episodes watch movies watch any online content so your time in traffic or your time that you go to office you can actually just pair it up with the wifi and you can actually watch all the ott content there so that's about it uh, I, i can keep going on uh, in terms of what the car can offer uh, what's there in terms of the rear seat comfort but i think now i will move on uh, to a different aspect i think we all know that uh, I, i mentioned the customer average customer age group is quite young and therefore the driving seat is as equally important also as the rear seat comfort so let's go in the front let me also share what we have done uh, at the driver side I think we can already see the slides up uh, coming up uh, and uh, the big part here is the individualization for anybody who owns the Maybach when you look at I, I think uh, the accelerator pedal as well as the brake pedals they are all handcrafted uh, there is exclusivity on this uh, at a very big scale so as you see it just invites you to get into this car uh, at any given point of time so lot of attention to detail let me get inside and also share some highlights when you in the driver seat so this car uh, you know it's it's like the all new interior design it you can just see that it's it's, it's completely customized to the maybach uh, it is quite distinctive and as we move on i will also share with you that we have done a bit more detailing for example in the in the, in the instrument display this also is customized to the maybach uh, this takes the luxury to the next level uh, you can see the rose gold detailing on the dials so it's it's also customized to the brand it's customized to what the customer would uh, prefer as such and therefore uh, it offers those individual options however this car is all about senses and i i personally feel that to start with let me explain what does it do to the sense of sound this car has 30 speakers 8 in seat resonators to deliver burmester 4d high end surround sound so these 8 uh, resonators are inside these seats and uh, to get the 4d effect so you don't only listen to the music you also feel the music and that's something that this car offers but we don't stop there what we have tried to do is use the same speaker system and ensure there is noise cancellation in the car it's a quiet cabin uh, definitely everything has been optimized but in order to make it even quieter the noise cancellation from all these 30 plus 8 speakers ensures uh, the bass there is adjusted and you get the noise cancellation also inside the car so everything has been done to ensure that the sensory of uh, sound is taken care of what next I think what you see in the center is a uh, is is a login, uh, and here we have three login options. It's voice, uh, there is fingerprint, and there is pin. So I can select a personal profile of mine. It says welcome Santosh. Now I I can actually use my fingerprint here, and uh, maybe it it scans the finger, and it is ready for me to come in. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it says good afternoon, Santosha here, and then uh, thank you, and then uh, I can get into the car. Uh, I can actually use this head unit the way I want. It is powered by artificial intelligence. So the more you use it, the more we talk to this, uh, it is able to also understand the commands. The MBUX is standard here. Uh, it's the best. Uh, 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 telematic system that we have, we call it the NTG7, it's the nerve center of the MyBab. Moving on, as we see here, uh, I mentioned about the senses. Uh, if you see now, uh, what this car can offer is also on, on a very different level, which is for the smell. And this car comes with an air balance package, uh, the entire perfumes are uh, stored inside here. And this air balance package not only gives a fragrance, which I think is fine, but it also ionizes the oxygen so that it kills harmful bacteria, virus, apart from ensuring the filters clean the outside air, so you get a very good fragrance inside the car. So we spoke about sound, we spoke about uh, the smell, and now let's see what else this car can do. So the moment I, I, I see this uh, uh, as such in the car, uh, I can also try to show you a very different feature. This is called the... Uh, Energizing comfort package. The moment you select this feature, there is a massage, there is ambient lighting, and then there is by default something called energizing comfort. This comes in again different uh, different settings: warm, vitality, joy, well-being. The moment you just select this, the entire car, the entire ambience converts itself uh, to maybe a sea or maybe to uh, you know whatever is your personal preferences. The lightings change. There is a music. So if you are stuck in traffic, just enjoy. Just select the mode that you feel. The massage starts and the ambient lighting also changes. The way we are able to set this ambient mood in the car is thanks to the 253 LEDs that's there in this car. The 253 LEDs ensure that the entire atmosphere, so it's just not uh, about uh, giving one color, it's, it's able to match to the moods, it's able to select what we have done uh, based on whatever profiles we want and it just transforms itself into a very good luxury cocoon as such. So, apart from this, uh, we have also ensured that there is a 360 degree camera with active parking assist. It's a long car, I mentioned it's 5.7 meters, so uh, some of the drivers may find it a bit tough to uh, park in tight spots. Uh, so this has a 360 degree camera, it can help uh, the customers to park by itself. Apart from this, this is a personal favorite when I have to speak about, uh, this is called, the, there are multiple driving modes in this car, but the highlight is the Maybach mode. What does the Maybach mode do? First, it ensures the car only operates on second gear, so that the jerks are lower whenever you are driving or a chauffeur is driving you around. So it ensures that it's very minimal jerks for the, uh, starting and going in. The second, the entire suspension system is also adapted for more smoother ride. Uh, it, it, it helps, it takes the comfort to the next level. And this is something specifically done for the Maybach, uh, and that's a big differentiator also for customers who want the next level of comfort when they choose their S-Class Maybach. So that gives you an array. I can keep going on and on, uh, but I think these are a couple of personal favorites or highlights that we see in this new car. But now I would like to share something a bit more uh, important also from the safety and also what we are doing uh, in terms of uh, automated driving in these cars. So uh, I'm quite proud to say that Mercedes-Benz is the first automotive company in the world to meet the legal requirements of a level three autonomous driving system. In December 2021, which was a couple of months back, the German Federal Motor Transport Authority granted system approval for this, and we have put the autonomous driving into series production of S-Class in Germany and US. Slowly but surely, this will be paving the way for offering such system in other markets depending on the local regulations. Even India, we know it's a, one is the regulatory aspect, also can an autonomous car work in India. But then we have not stepped back. We said, if you're getting a car which is capable enough, what do we introduce in India? So we are getting a drive assist system with level two autonomous driving. The new, uh, and, and what, how does it work? So it, its sensor system comprising of the cameras, radar, and ultrasound captures the surroundings. And with this new MyBug, we have the driving assistance package. And I would like to talk about two specific features that we have added in this. 
Number one is the evasive steering assist. So it can assist the driver to avoid collision with other road users during any critical situation detected by the system. So this, it's again intuitive in that sense. It helps and assists. The second one is uh, an active brake assist, which uses the onboard sensors to register whether there is a risk of collision with vehicles traveling ahead or in a crossing. I think the active brake assist used to be there in, is there in other cars, but the cross traffic function is again new to the S-Class Maybach, and that's something again pushes the safety uh, and also helps occupants and the drivers in this car, even in market like India. If you move forward, uh, I think safety has been integral and core to us. This car comes with 13 airbags, standard in an S-Class. Uh, this is by far the most number of airbags provided by any locally produced car in India. I think many of you are experts, you know this. Uh, and, uh, and to add to this, we are also giving the belt airbag in the seats. It provides strong protection to the passengers in rear seat collision or in heavy front-on collision. So that's something, again, comes as standard in this car. Another revolutionary technology we offered in the S-Class, and I'm just trying to rehash it, is the car to x technology. What we call this is, it does a social network of cars. This cars, from the S-Class to the Maybach, and many cars in the future, they will capture conditions like potholes, speed bumps, slippery roads, even the accidents, and communicate about the hazard to other Mercedes-Benz cars in the vicinity. All this communication, happens via the Mercedes-Benz cloud on a navigation system, and all this happens in real time, within seconds, with, with the cloud-based technology. So there, therefore, if you are driving this car, you get an instant alert from another Mercedes-Benz car, or this car is actually picking up the signals of a porthole and actually communicating to another Mercedes-Benz car if it is approaching on the same road. So I think this is the future. We, as I said, we call it the social network of cars. At this juncture, maybe I will try to also talk to you about the Mercedes Me app. I think uh, Martin mentioned there are 59,000 customers in India who have uh, a Mercedes Me app uh, as such. Maybe I will also try to give you a short demo, uh, not in detail, but just to give you a brief overview on how this works. Can we have my mobile phone paired and seen there? Yeah. So uh, this is the screen uh, that you see here. Uh, on the front screen, it's customized to the Maybach. Uh, uh, some of you must have driven our other uh, cars, and all those are customized based on the car models and the positioning. Here, if you see, you can see the vehicle status, the lock, if the car is locked, pre-entry climate control, the engine, tire pressure. And if you go more, there is a series of features series of features to help the customer. For example, if the kid is being dropped to school, can you geofence the car? Can we do a speed alert so that we can also see if somebody is driving rashly or uh, in what sense? You can check the vehicle status as such. Uh, of course, it also you can start the engine um, as such of the car. Uh, I think it says uh, I need to correct my pin here, but yes. Uh, and also, in that sense, my personal favorite is the pre-entry climate control. So you press this feature, you can activate it, uh, and then you can actually see how this car is uh, able to perform. So this is something, again, uh, many customers, as I said, they go out in evenings, they want the car to function, uh, and uh, they want the car to be cooled up because it's also warm and hot many a times, and this is what the car offers. So that's a brief, uh, I think any of you interested, our product teams are here. They will share more details about how the connectivity works. Uh, and we are quite happy that uh, we are only going strength to strength. Uh, we also introduced new features like the traffic, uh, sorry, the parking assistant in major cities. Uh, all this is with over the air updates. So the customer doesn't have to bother. Uh, they are using the car with an OTA update. Any new feature, any new functionality gets into the car. Now I move on to the next car. This is the. S680 formatic, this is what we are going to import. There is a reason why we are bringing this along with the CKD, because generally we bring the CBUs or the imported cars, then we bring the localized car. But here we are bringing both the cars together. This is a car for people who take interest in customizing their cars. Let's have a look at what is the difference this car can offer. First, I come to the engine. It comes with, again, a higher engine size. It's a 6-liter V12 biturbo engine, maximum output of 612 horsepower, a very high torque of 900 newton meters. It means the 0 to 100 does, is done in 4.5 seconds. Another point which we would like to make is this engine is already Euro 6D compliant. Many of you are aware we are coming up with Bharat Stage 6, Stage 2 norms starting April. Uh, and these cars that we are introducing are already compliant to the next level of emission norms that India would see. And we are the first to again introduce these cars. 
Also, this new MyBark S680 opens up a window of customization. So, apart from the technical perfection and stylish elegance, the top priority is given to offering under the brand name of manufacturer. Here, customers can look to configure the cars with remarkable selection of the most exquisite materials, colors, innovative technologies. And let's see what are the possibilities with this car. If you look into the rear seat, I won't go into it right now, but you can also see uh, once we conclude the presentation, there it's, it's again a first class suite, even in the second row, there are individualized seats compared to what you saw on the locally produced car. Uh, it gives you again a feeling that you are in a, in a private jet. The entire center console is piano black, uh, also electrically operated here. Uh, also, the another next level of individualization is the high quality wood trim that you see behind the car. Uh, actually, this further adds to the elegance, give an impression that you are actually sailing on a yacht or something. Else. So, all these possibilities exist and uh, for individualization for customers who demand that the car has to be configured as per my taste. What we are also doing is we are going to offer two-tone paints. Uh, the car that you see here is a single one, but we offer 10 color combinations uh, which enhances the exclusive appearance of the uh, Maybach. And let me give you a small insight and a trivia. How is two-tone paint so special on the Maybach? In the paint shop, the body shell is first painted electrostatistically with the color of the lower half of the body. So the entire car is painted with the same color that's there in the lower half. And then uh, what we do is the upper half is taken into a separate paint shop. It is hand painted. It takes one week to complete paint job of one car, uh, one Maybach. So that's the level of handcraftedness that goes into a dual painted car that you see in this uh, slide. Adding to the striking difference, uh, also alloys, we have tried to make it distinctive. It comes with a 20-inch alloy, again with a ceramic finish, uh, and there's also a fully integrated bolt cover that you see in this alloy. One another highlight, as a customer, you can uh, opt for is a 3D instrument cluster display. All the warnings, functions of the driving assistance systems are noticeable in three-dimensional view, and it adds a cinematic effect on the cluster readings. Another mesmerizing effect is the image of other road users like cars, trucks, buses, bikes. You can all see them in the three-dimensional format in this. It just, uh, you know, the words may fall short, so whenever you get this car, you can under understand, you can experience this about how this looks uh, in reality. <coughs> Last, not the least, I would also come to the highlight. Uh, this is, again, for the first time, we are introducing an option of an urban guard uh, protection plus. Now, what is this? This is a price position. Customers are paying, uh, they, are, they love this car. The interior and the exterior camera monitor the surrounding. Any theft or parking damage is notified to the user via the same app which I showed. So basically they get an alert if somebody is fiddling with a car. Also in case of any parking collision, the camera will record the pictures, surroundings, which can be viewed in the app. So it's a very big feature also to recover the car. Uh, it, it, it gives a very high level of protection, also, uh, you know, security to the customers who buy these expensive machines. Uh, summary of the, I would say, of what I presented is, uh, Maybach sets standards for the high-end luxury class with luxury, technology, and comfort at the highest level. The new Mercedes Maybach S-Class is no different. On one hand, the highly advanced technological solutions provide an exemplary safety and comfort, and on the other hand, the exquisite handcrafted excellence and state-of-the-art automotive technology offers the customer with a perfection of the Maybach brand. With this, I hand over the presentation back to Martin. So, Martin, over to you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Santosh. I have to say, even though I know most of the features, I was again deeply impressed, and I'm sure that same feeling is here in the audience. It's really amazing what the car uh, does, what these models offer. Yeah, we have a, a, a wide variety of high-end cars <coughs> sorry, that we offer, uh, and we build in India. So our pride is also the production and the build in India. Uh, and we have included in the past year also AMGs. We do for a long time already the luxurious S-Class. And based on that, it is clear that our manufacturing capabilities are world class. The claim is now made again even stronger with the launch of the Mercedes-Benz uh, Maybach S-Class, which we see here. Today, I had the opportunity to roll out uh, the new Maybach from the assembly line. And I'm extremely proud to share this moment with you all now. Let's have a quick look at the video.
I would like to congratulate the entire team that has made that uh, possible. Now I'm sure you're all waiting already for the important announcement and that is of course the price of the Maybach S-Class. The price for the Mercedes Maybach S-Class 680 4Matic starts from 3.2 crore. Made in India Maybach S-Class 580 4Matic is priced at 2.5 crore. And of course, as always, we offer adequate service packages and financing for these products. With this launch, we have now completed our impressive high-end sedan portfolio. Our S-Class family just got bigger again. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends for joining uh, us today for this important launch. It has been a pleasure to meet you again in person and I'm sure we'll have a little bit of afterglow afterwards anyways. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice afternoon. Thank you so much. Uh, firstly, I'd like to call on Martin, uh, Santosh and Anaita to take a photo op with this beauty over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with that, we come to the end of this event. I invite our in-person attendees to join us for a unique photo opportunity outside the center of excellence. This will be followed by lunch. There are media engagements planned for you and our PR colleagues. We'll be in touch with you for the same. Thank you once again. I'm Anusha Dandekar and wishing you a safe journey home. Thank you so much. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Anaita. Thank you, Santosh. Bye.